notice the body moved back up to where it was supposed to be and you're going to go up here and click on create uh, that'll get us out of that window and then you're going to deselect the UMP body in fact reselect the UMP body and so we don't screw it up and to make it easier to mold the armor around it we're going to free selection by right clicking anywhere in the perspective window and go up to freeze selection and left click notice it went white it is now frozen it cannot be touched I can't even I can't even select it I'll select bones underneath it you can't actually select the UMP model now it's there you can see it you can work around it but you can't screw it up that's the beauty of freeze now we're going to select our hide armor and we're going to go up here to the create to the modify tab next to create select that and you notice we have the same uh, options uh, same elements of uh, the armor that we had on the UMP model what we're going to be working with is the uh, editable mesh so you're going to select that um, in fact let's just simplify things I want you to select the BS dismember skin modifier right click on it and then go down and select delete. Don't just press delete on your keyboard to delete the whole armor. If you just did that a second ago, hit Control Z, it'll bring it back. Uh, now what you want to do is delete the skin as well by right clicking on it and in the drop down menu select delete. Now we just have the editable mesh. Uh, we'll reskin it and replace uh, the BS Dismember skin modifier in a moment. Uh, what we can see here uh, and what we're going to do just for starters so you can see the problem areas in action uh, is we're going to move this part out from the boob because if you see that's the UMP body it's white because we froze it and here the boob is sticking through the armor in fact if you look and you scroll out the reason why I choose the hide armor for this tutorial is because it is the only part of the body that actually sticks out, making this a great way for you to get uh, to get your feet wet. So now with the armor selected, I'm going to go over here to the selection type. You have vertex, edges, faces, polygons, and entire elements. Each of these will select uh, a different part of the armor. What we're working with is vertices. When you select this, you'll notice a bunch of little blue dots appear on the armor. Uh, now these little blue dots, what they are, is how we're going to move the armor. Now I want to show you a quick example. Don't do what I do, just watch what I'm doing. I'm going to select a vertice by clicking on one of the blue dots, left clicking on it. Uh, and you'll notice I just get this little line. I can't even do anything but select it. If I try to move, I'll just select something else. So what I do is I select the one that I want that's really close to the uh, parts of the boob that are sticking through the armor. I select that, then I'm going to right click anywhere in the perspective window, and I'm going to go to move. Right? So I right click and I selected move. Now this gives me a new little window. Now this one, if I select it, any one of these arrows that get highlighted, it'll actually move that vertice. That's what the move does. Uh, now here's one of the things that uh, you'll note, and we have a neat little trick for it. Uh, if I just move this one vertice by itself, you'll notice that's going to look weird. You know, like if I try to, okay, well, I want to get it off the boob, but if I move it like this, all the other ones, yeah, you know, they're not moving. They're just, uh, they're concrete. They're like, hey, you know, we're not part of that guy. Yeah, we're going to move by our, you know, our cells. Uh, well, that's uh, that's why God made uh, soft selection. Uh, so in order to enable soft selection, I'm going to select that one with the move still on do anything else. I'm going to select that one and I'm going to go over here where it says soft selection. I click the little plus symbol next to soft selection and I'm going to check use soft selection. Ah, see, it just highlighted all of the vertices. So now they are part of this, but it's kind of big. So if I move this one now, watch what happens. It's going to move all of them. Seems like it's moving too many though still. It's moving more fluently so you know it'll flow better and look better in the game but I'm still moving too many so I'm gonna hit control Z put it back where it was and I'm gonna drop to make it more local I'm gonna go to fall off and select 10 this will make it more local now, if you'll notice now it's just around the boob a little bit closer 
it's uh, you know red where the vertice is selected, then it's yellow, and then it gets a little lighter yellow until it gets white, until it turns back blue to where it's not moving. Everything that's not blue is going to move slightly when I move this. So I got the fallout closer. I'm going to zoom in a little bit by using my scroll wheel. I'm going to select it right here on the X and Y plane. Notice both the X and the Y are highlighted, so it'll move it both on an X and Y axis. I'm going to select it there with my left mouth key, holding it down. And I'm just going to move it out just a little bit. Boom. Now the boob is not sticking through the armor. And, you know, it didn't really screw anything up. Still looks pretty good, right? This is a very simple, simple fix to get the body inside of the armor. Uh, we're going to start with baby steps here. We're gonna, now we're going to export this and actually test it in-game to see the UMP's actual body inside of the vanilla armor, no longer with the vanilla armor having a vanilla body in it that's you know, kind of fake because it's not the whole body. Um, there are going to be some errors, and that's all part of the learning process. I want you to see the errors so you understand why there are processes that are taken prior to testing it first for the first time uh, on a normal uh, on a normal uh, routine. Uh, so that way, you can avoid these problems. But in order to know why we do things, you need to see the errors for yourself. Uh, so now, what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, reskin it and replace a BS dismember modifier, export it, and place it into the game, then we're going to go into the game and see what it looks like. Uh, so now what I want to do is I'm going to deselect vertices. Uh, I'm going to right click in my window and I'm going to select unfreeze all. That'll make the UMP body selectable again. Now I'm going to go up here to the modifier list because I didn't select anything else with the hide armor still selected. I'm going to do the drop down list. And I'm going to go down, I'm going to find Smooth. And we're going to select Smooth, I'm going to click on 2. This keeps it from creating additional vertices when we export it, remember. Uh, then with Smooth selected, I'm going to use the modifier, drop it down again, and I'm going to go find Skin Wrap. Now Skin Wrap is like taking a, the wrapper of a Tootsie Roll and putting the chocolate in it and then tightening it back up. So that way, wherever the chocolate goes, the Tootsie, uh, the Tootsie Wrap will go. Same concept here. I'm going to put a skin wrap on this, and we're going to wrap it to the UMP body. So wherever the UMP body goes, the armor will go, and it'll uh, kind of uh, wrap over it. Uh, for the settings in the deformation engine, we uh, set this to face deformation. Vertex works too, but face is more simple, especially for beginners. Uh, and you also want to weight all the points of the armor, so you want to check that box. Uh, now we need to add this uh, skin wrap onto the UMP mesh. So what we're going to do is we're going to select Add, and then you're going to click the UMP body. Give it a second. Uh, sometimes it'll all go black, sometimes only parts of it will go black. Trust me, as soon as all this little down here in the lower left hand corner, if you don't see anything going on down here, it's done. So then you can just click Convert to Skin. Now we have a skin just popped up in our modifier list for the elements of this armor. And we're going to select the skin wrap. We're going to right click it and we're going to delete it because we don't need it anymore. We now have the skin that we created from it. Now with skin selected, you're going to use the dot drop down list for the modifier. You're going to go to the BS Dismember Skin modifier and you're going to select that. Uh, now with the BS Dismember, what we got to do is we have to zoom out with the scroll wheel and left click on the screen, drag out the selection until it covers everything, and then release. Now with everything red, we're going to, under body part, we're going to use this drop down with torso, and we're going to assign it to Skyrim Torso 1. Now if you don't have Skyrim Torso 1 on your list, uh, you should have, in some versions of NIFScope, they have Skyrim main body. It's the same exact thing as Skyrim Torso 1. So you either assign it to Skyrim Torso 1 or Skyrim main body. Same exact thing. Very important that it's set to Skyrim Torso 1. Now you don't want 
to click. If I click, it'll unhighlight it. I don't want that. I want it all highlighted, and I want to get out of this BS Dismember Skin modifier. So what I'm going to do, really easy to keep keep me from screwing it up, is just click Create up here, and that'll get you off of it. So now everything's selected, and it's all red, and it's all set to the Skyrim Torso 1. Now we're, we're good here. We're going to go ahead and export it and show you the problematic areas uh, with the armor actually in the game. Uh, so we go up here to the 3DS symbol, uh, drop it down, select export in the uh, menu, and uh, we want to go to our file structure, which is UMP custom armors, go to data, meshes, armor, hide, female, test one, and then select curious light underscore zero, and then click save. Now we're overriding it, so we want to say, do you want to replace it? Yes. Uh, now you need to make sure that your settings should still be the same, but just double check. You know, to make sure you don't have anything, nothing changed. Uh, all these settings need to be identical to what you see on my screen. Again, we do not want to weld the vertices, so we're going to delete those three little numbers there. And uh, as long as everything's the same here and you've deleted those three little numbers, go ahead and click Export. Give it a second to run through the process. As soon as it's done, go ahead and up in the upper right hand corner, select Minimize. All right, now we need to copy from our folder structure to the Skyrim, uh, actual Skyrim game. So remember we created the shortcut to the actual female hide in a, a previous tutorial in the Steam directory? Go ahead and double click that shortcut. It'll pull it up. Now you notice this is Steam Apps Common Skyrim Data Meshes Armor Hide Female. You should have nothing in here. Okay, I do because I've done uh, custom hides in the past. Uh, then you're going to double click your UMP Custom Armors. This is where we saved that uh, armor. We just exported it. Double click that. The window will pop up. Drag this over. Uh, double click Data, Meshes, Armor, Hide female, test one, because that's where we exported it to, and select curious light underscore zero, because that's the file we just created. Uh, hit control C on your keyboard, then select the actual steam uh, armor hide folder, and hit control V. Now if this window pops up, it's because you had it in there. Uh, you shouldn't get this window, it should just paste a brand new file there. Uh, click copy and replace if it does pop up. Now I have the armor inside of uh, the actual game engine. Uh, now we're going to test it out uh, in the next uh, video because this file is getting too big. I'll see you in a second. Alright, I just wanted to tack this quick note on the end. Uh, this will help us out with the next video. What you want to do is go into the game, create a new save, set your body weight to zero, I'm sorry, a new game, and when you get in there, create a female character, set the body's weight all the way to zero. Uh, we're working with the zero body weight of the armor, and then we'll create the larger body weight later, and if you create something in between zero and 100, the vertices on the armor are just going to go all over the place and it'll look stupid when you try to test it. Also, pretty important uh, is that the textures on your armor when you get it into game chances are the, if you're using the latest version of Nifscope you're gonna see a bunch of green your characters body texture is gonna be all green and the armor is gonna be all green or some weird color don't worry about that you don't really need to see the textures to test the armor we're just getting it in game we're gonna fix all the textures the texture on the body any bones that aren't like really close to the hands, any any textures specifically. We're going to fix all those errors when we polish up the armor in the end. So again, create a new save, get the body weight to zero female, get just outside the cave after the intro where he tries to make you follow him. Just get right out there and we'll go ahead and fix the textures in a later video. So don't worry if your textures aren't showing. That's completely normal. 